Uh, hi guys, it's Sasha, and today I'm gonna be reviewing Sherlock Fact, the fact and of fact of fiction, but the most influential detective. This is by Martin Fido. Vito, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's last name. And what this is, this is a coffee table book about how Sherlock Holmes became to be um, the most influential character in fiction. And it talks about uh, how Doyle became inspired to write Holmes. Um, it gives like an official account of like Sherlock, of Sherlock's life. Um, and it shows uh, different things like how the character became famous through plays and movies and TV shows and like uh, BB, like the Sherlock, BB Sherlock, and uh, the show Elementary, and of course the Adventures of Sherlock Holmes with Jeremy Brett. Uh, it also talks about the movies, um, like from the Basil Ratburn years. And um, movies like Without a Clue and uh, the Guy Ritchie films, the uh, uh, ones with uh, Jude Law and um, uh, Robert Downey Jr. It talks about um, how the book influenced uh, crime fiction in and of itself, uh, how it influenced like uh, people like uh, Agatha Christie to write the uh, um, excuse me, Hercule Poirot novels or all these different novels like uh, like um, the Father Brown and that type of that those type of books. Um, I I really enjoyed this book. Uh, it took me a long time to read this book because, you know, life distractions. Um, I sometimes get bored with it, sat down, start again. I actually finished this book last night. I finished it around one this one o'clock in the morning. Um, but uh, uh, I I did enjoy this book. The the author really he he took his time with all the different things that he needs research for for what why and what made Holmes so great there's actually even a picture a couple pictures of where they show of the uh the, the 221 B, B Baker Street the Sherlock Holmes Museum they show pictures of people who were inspired to make uh, like busts or statues of homes. Uh, some were in Japan. Uh, actually, no. one was in Japan. One was in I think Holland or something like that. One was in Switzerland. And uh, it, it's really neat. I'll show you. Uh, where's the last one? The last one was in. I hate this camera. <laughs> you can't really, it's hard to see, but there you go. See, it's um, one of the busts, and this one was in a bronze statue of Sir Holmes, and it's uh, Switzerland. Uh, yeah, it was a, it was a great book. I would read it again. Um, and, uh, I would actually, I think if you're starting with Sherlock Holmes, as far as like getting into the character, read the original books and maybe see some of the films, 
before you really dive into this because there is a lot of different things and the author does mention different influences as far as different authors being influenced by Conan Doyle and Holmes and the work. Uh, but uh, yeah, those are my thoughts on Sherlock, the facts and fiction of the world's most famous detective. I'll keep, sorry, I'll talk to you later. I hope you sorry my nose is running. Hope you have a good day. Bye. Be my